I'm Ruthie, and we are going to be on part three of getting to know your featherweight in page 13 of your ma manual to set the needle. To set the needle on a singer featherweight properly, you are going to want to turn the hand wheel to where the needle bar is all the way at the top. And the needle bar is this right here, and you can also see it right here in your manual. To take the old needle out, you are going to want to loosen the needle clamp thumb screw, which is this right here, and you are going to want to loosen it just a little bit, and then carefully pull the old needle out. Now we want to get a new needle, and we use Schmetz, because the new Singer needles that are made in Brazil, Malaysia, Mexico, and a few other places are not the eyes are not finished off correctly and they will fray your thread. We recommend for regular piecing and sewing a smetch size 8012 and either a universal or a microtex. I'm going to get our new needle out and the, ne the flat side of the needle has to be to the left or you can get skipped stitches and a few other problems. It is very important on a Singer Featherweight that the flat side of the needle faces left. It always has to face left. And an easy way to remember this is see the, the needle, how it's flat on this, the shaft of the needle, how it's flat on this side and curved on this side. It's the exact same on the, the throw plate. See how it's flat here and curved on the right? You're going to want to insert this with the flat side of the needle to the left. It always has to be left. So remember, the flat side of the needle always has to face left. And you're going to want to insert the needle all the way, or you can also have skip stitches, or the tip of the needle can hit the hook assembly. After you've inserted the needle, and before you start sewing, you're going to want to slowly by hand turn the hand wheel to make sure that you don't hear any metal noises because if you sometimes if you start sewing the needle can break if it's not inserted all the way. Now I'm going to do a stitch sample with the needle inserted into the shaft the correct way which is with the flat side of the needle facing left. You can see here that when your needle is inserted into the machine the correct way that you have a wonderful stitch. We'll see you again on part four of getting to know your featherweight. Now this is the troubleshooting part of the portion of the video. Now I have the needle inserted incorrectly and I'm going to show you what the needle will do if it is. I now have it inserted to the right because I moved it and I'm going to see if I can pick up the bobbin thread. Sometimes it won't pick up the bobbin thread if it is inserted incorrectly. But this time it looks like it did. So I'm going to sew a little bit and show you what it will do. See, it's, it's not even sewing the fabric together because it is inserted incorrectly. Now I'm going to show you what will happen when the flat side of the needle is to the back, like most new modern machines. You can see here that there are a few skip stitches. There's one here and here and here. So that is what happens when you have the flat side of the needle facing towards the back of the machine. 